Today we are looking at chemical reactions. These are reactions which take place all around us, inside us, and without them we would not exist. In this experiment today, we are going to mix a solid with a liquid and to produce a gas. This is the chemical reaction. To carry out this experiment, we have in our box vinegar, which is the liquid, baking soda, the solid, a funnel, a teaspoon, and a bottle. And very importantly, a balloon. So let's get started on our experiment. The first thing is to stretch the balloon. You can do that like this, or even blow it up. Next, take your funnel, put the balloon on the end of the funnel, take the baking soda, and using the teaspoon, take two slightly heaped teaspoons and add it to the funnel, and shake it into the balloon. One thing to think about when you're doing this or is to make sure there's no lumps in the baking soda, otherwise they're going to get stuck in the funnel and not go into the balloon. Take the, f the balloon off the funnel. So now twist the balloon to make sure the baking soda stays into the in the bottom of the balloon. The next thing is to take your bottle and the vinegar and add the vinegar into the bottle. You can either do this by just pouring or you could use the funnel. But make sure you add that you only do that after you've used the baking soda. Otherwise, the funnel will get wet and the baking soda will stick to it. A quarter to a third full of, of vinegar. So now we're going to put, attach the balloon to the bottle. So twist it a bit so that the baking soda doesn't come out. And gently stretch the balloon so not to tear it and seal it over the neck of the bottle. Once you've got a good tight seal, we're going to dump this baking soda into the, into the vinegar and watch what happens. What you can see is a, lot, a chemical reaction as the, the powder and the liquid are mixing together causing bubbles and those bubbles, that's also giving off a gas which is inflating the balloon. That gas is carbon dioxide. And because we've added the balloon to the, to the neck of the bottle, it's got nowhere to go. It has to inflate the balloon. So the vinegar, which is an acid, is mixing with the base, which is the baking soda, and generating carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is also produced by us when we inhale the air and we have a chemical reaction in our lungs and we exhale carbon dioxide. But it's exactly the same when we blow up a balloon, it is also filled with carbon dioxide. So what happens if we don't add the balloon to the bottle? So here we have, we've got the vinegar in the bottle, and I'm going to add the two scoops of bicarbonate soda, the baking soda. And you can see it bubbles up, and you have an explosion. So the main thing is to enjoy yourselves and have fun with science.